Second Home, uh, where we are going to highlight some delicious treats and super useful tips for your busy life. I'm Lucia. I'm Nicole. Today we are going to show you how to make a super easy and delicious homemade batch using only a microwave. It's super easy, you're going to see. So for to make this uh, chocolate batch, we are going to need three cups of uh, chocolate chips. What kind of chocolate are you using? I'm using semi-sweet chocolate, but you could use whatever you want, to be honest. I mean, you could use dark chocolate, milk chocolate, even white chocolate if you like it. I think it would be too sweet, but it, it depends on what you like. You could do it uh, perfectly, no problem. Then we are going to need some uh, condensed milk, a small can, four spoonful of butter, a pinch of salt, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And that's it. We just have to mix the ingredients together. Okay, so we are going to start by mixing up all the ingredients in the bigger bowl, okay? So, just pour the butter on the over the chocolate. It's better if it's room temperature because it's going to melt uh, easier, but I mean, it's not that important. Then we are going to pour the mm, condensed milk over the chocolate. And then we are going to stir it. There is no need to stir it that much because it's going to go directly in the microwave for one minute until it's melted. And like this, it's going to go to the microwave. We need it uh, to cook for one minute, but maybe it's not going to be melted. So we may have to microwave it again. Okay, so it's done. Let's see how it is. Looks like it's not melted. It depends on the on each microwave. So we are going to microwave it again, but just for uh, 30 seconds because we don't want to burn the chocolate. Don't burn the chocolate, guys. It tastes uh, awful. Okay, <laughs> it may be done. Let's see how it is. It needs a little bit more to melt because it depends on each microwave. So what we are going to do is stir it just a little bit. So now that we have this melted, we are going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we are going to add a pinch of cinnamon. You wanna add it, Nicole? Sure. Thanks. Okay, great. So we have the vanilla, which is going to add great flavor to it. And then we are going to use the salt because it enhances the flavor of the chocolate. If not, it would be too sweet. That's it. And we have our mixture completely ready. Okay, so once we have our fat mixture ready, what we are going to do is to wrap this uh, baking dish uh, with foil. Uh, this is so we can take the, um, the, um, the fat easier once it's done in the, in the fridge. So, there is no need to cover it all because what we need is something to be able to pull from the for the pipe. And that's it. Now we are going to pour the mixture. I'm going to do just half because this baking dish we have is kind of small. So we are just going to make this and try to press it with a spoon so it stays even. Now we have to put it in the fridge and let it stay for a couple of hours and when our fact is done. Okay, so we have our fudge for a couple of hours in the fridge. Now we have uh, taken it out and we are going to, uh, yeah, just peel. So, now what you wanna do with this is uh, cut it in a small, small cubes and then you put it into a plate and you present it like the way you, you like it. This is like super cool uh, to bring for parties to the office because it's so easy to do and everybody loves it. Even I? What does that mean? Oh, that, that turned out pretty great. Want some? No. Thank you so much for joining on American Home. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please be sure to download uh, the SF Globe app. And don't forget to share this video with your friends on Facebook. Hey.